Yes, Boda with Fireless Cremation. We're here at the ICCFA and we're in our booth here introducing our FC500. It's an alkaline hydrolysis 2.0 system. So you might say, hey, isn't that just another aquamation system? But it's not. And I've got Jeff Edwards here with me. He actually bought the very first aquamation system. From you? Yes. And it was built by BioResponse System. By BioResponse. And, and it's very different than what we do today. So that system, all the essence went down the sewer. And today, all the essence, so that's not only the bones, but also the liquid part of the body when we're done, is beneficially returned either to the earth or to the sea. And if it goes to the earth, it becomes a plant biostimulant. If it goes to the sea, it helps reverse the acidification of oceans. Really? Yes. So what makes this system different? It's very different than the older aquamation systems, whether they be the resumation system or the bioresponse system, where all they're using is alkali and water. So we're using very little water relative to the other systems, about 60% of the weight of the body in water. And when we're done, we've broken down the fats, which is very different, because we have a chemical process where we're using not only water and, and potassium, but we're also using alcohol. And the alcohol breaks down the fats, so you, you don't end up like most brains are 60% fat. There's no brains left when we're done. Oh Jeff, man, they are fat heads. <laughs> you know there was problems with the brains, right? Yeah, it's, it's an industry issue that we've struggled with. Um, and there's different ways to address that. Um, but the, the, to, from a consumer's perspective, I mean, the alkaline hydrolysis or aquamation really is just accelerating what Mother Nature would naturally do if you were to place the body directly into the soil. And if you were to dig that back up a year or two from now, there's only bones left. Where did the rest of it go? Well, it naturally um, broke down, which is what we're doing with chemicals um, and water in a rapid manner so that the family can have back what they're familiar with as cremated remains or aquamated remains. And uh, I understand the system works faster than uh, the other systems? Yeah, that's the 2.0, I guess you could say, in the uh, technology. I mean, it's been about uh, a 24-hour process, 20 to 24-hour process. Um, and when I went out and seen Ed's machine for the first time, it literally was uh, very, very quick, I mean, three or four hours for a normal sized uh, person, which is, has always been a concern that I've heard from fellow funeral directors at shows like this, when I tell them it's really one per day per machine, now it's theoretically very easy to do, you know, three, four, five, half a dozen in a 24-hour period if you're working multiple shifts, uh, where it's just not possible with the other technologies to get to that kind of volume. Yeah, turn around. The other big benefit, too, is rather than just getting back about twice as much bones as you would with a flame cremation or petrochemical cremation, we actually give back the essence. So that's the non-bone parts of the body. So someone like myself would be about 30 gallons, and I become a plant biostimulant. Fertilizer. So you can, yeah, you can put me back on the earth. And we actually give it back and we call plastic. So rather than a casket, it's a five gallon plastic jug. So six of mine would go back. Uh, my family can take it and pour it in my backyard. They can take it to the mountains. Alternatively, if I live near the ocean, they can leave my pH high. So they could leave it at about a 12.5 and then put it back in the ocean. And that helps plankton and mollusks that are suffering because of the oceans absorbing all this carbon dioxide and bringing the pH down where it's ruining their ectoskeleton. So I think there's a good use in being able to be able to return bodies beneficially to the earth, which has been a big objection in legislations around the country where people object to it not being dignified, putting the body down the sewer. With ours, 100% of the body can be beneficially returned to the earth, and that's a big difference. But now, what if the family didn't want that 20 gallons or 30 gallons back? So right now, we've been donating it uh, to farms because it's full of a, a nutrient that plants need called potassium, and it's completely sterile, so there's no pathogens at all in it. Or 
right now there's a lot of places that are requiring a collection of green waste. So typically green waste is just carbon and nitrogen. And when you add back in the essence, you're adding back in uh, potassium, and that makes it a very great compost. So right now there's a, in Denver, there's a need for about 800,000 gallons of our essence to complement the current green uh, composting processes. Very cool. And then the, the other thing, the big thing is cost. So um, some of these systems, what would you say they would cost for? I mean, you've been... Well, cost can be confusing because, you know, the cost can be low, but over time, you know, 10-year period of time, you, know, you factor in all the costs and divide that by the number of processes to get your true cost. Um, it's no different cost-wise than uh, fire base cremation, which sounds inexpensive on the, on the front side, but when you factor in the green bricks and you know, all the services, um, and then divide that back out by the same number of bodies, it's, it's roughly the same a, a dollar figure for the funeral director if you home as a uh, as a typical fire unit. Well, and this uses a lot less energy to. It does a typical cleaner, greener process, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. and, and so in Europe right now, they're requiring them to catch all this stuff coming out of the smokestacks. They, they capture about 96% of it. In the U.S., you can still you know, put out all these dioxins, furons, mercury. Uh, it costs about a million dollars for those systems. With ours, our system's under 150000 and it, no, there's no emissions. So I think this has a great future around the world uh, in helping people return beneficially to the earth. And do you have a website for people to learn more? Oh, it's firelesscremation.com. Very good.